Hello everybody and welcome back to the RuneScape 3 Hardcore Iron Man. We just hit 44 agility and this is where I take a break because running around in circles so much can make a man go crazy. But I would like to get to at least 50 before uh, the Spring Fair is over, which is in like three days or something. So I guess we'll have to come back and do more agility at some point, but I mean it's easy. It's easy gains. I like forgot I was even doing this while we were watching YouTube. There is the Stolen Hearts quest completed. Got some coins and some random uh, experience lamps. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is because I would like to get into Menafoss pretty soon, and uh, I can do this thing called the Gullible Tourist in Menafoss, which gets, you know, a decent bit of thieving XP, but also has the chance to get you a small Menafite offering, which has, like, a minimum of 20-something thousand gold in it, so that would really speed up me being able to get um, that jar. So, let's go to Menafoss. Yeah, boy, Diamond in the Rough done. I think just one more quest. No be at Menafoss as always putting all this XP in prayer. And hey, 24 thieving. And uh, hey, 33 prayer. Oh my god, levels left and right. Oh man, it's like really easy to get into Metafoss. I thought it was gonna be a little harder than this, but oh also some some XP. We got to level five construction with low effort. We got a dungeoneering level. We got we got a lot of stuff going on here. But yeah, now basically we have Metafoss, uh, which is nice. I guess we should select a faction uh, I don't know which one's the best so I'm probably gonna look through them but yeah now we can get rep in Menafoss a couple really nice things about Menafoss uh, are those little scarabs that come out of the ground you can pop them for slayer XP which would probably be really nice to get some XP early on because I don't want to do a bunch of really shitty tasks it's kinda like a daily because the rep and XP you get decreases uh, depending on how many you've done that day so I'll probably try to do those every day um, there's a soul obelisk is pretty good. The fishing and mining methods here are really good. The best wood cutting XP in the game, but I probably won't do that because I'm an Iron Man. But I swear there was a reason I wanted to come here. Oh yeah, to pickpocket that uh, that dude. So let's see if I can find that guy. All right, we got our first gift offering here. We're at level 32 thieving, and you might think because I don't I don't remember what thieving level I was before I started doing this. You might think oh that took a couple thieving levels to get one, but the thieving levels just fly buy here you get I think 29 and a half thieving XP every successful pickpocket and really you can go on pretty long streaks even with this low of a thieving level like look at this just bam 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 now I don't know how rare this uh, small menafite gift offering is but I've never opened one not even on my main I used to turn these in for reputation which is not really a good idea because of how easy reputation gain is these days so let's open it up and see what we get 56,000 gold and a diamond necklace and a cup of tea so pretty decent alkable right there and you know cup of tea to heal me up a little bit while I'm doing this pretty nice so uh, those could be really rare I could have just gotten lucky but I mean 50k for just chilling here AFK clicking on this lady is really nice like this is not too bad in case you were curious about how OP the soul obelisks are for early rune crafting look at the two rune crafting XP every like six seconds whoa that's insane but really the only reason to do these is for actual Menafoss reputation and uh, I was really hoping that the, the XP would be a little better but now that I'm looking at it I, I, I just don't think it is so <laughs> screw that alright I wanted to get one last level here there's 43 thieving um, what am I gonna do now I have no idea but on the way to this level we got three more Menafite gift offerings which is pretty sweet uh, time to open them up and see what we get. The first one, we got 29k and, oh, a chocolate bar. Wow, quite something. Second one, we got 70,000 gold. Oh my god, some coconuts, blue charms. And last one, we get 46,000 gold and a palm sapling. Very interesting. Good farming XP on that. But yeah, now we have 300,000 gold and, uh,. Yeah, I, I don't even know, man. That's a lot of money. Holy crap. We are here in Edgeville for a very special occasion on this account. Hardcore mode. The gods appear to be turning a blind eye on you uh, because we're hardcore and the gods don't like that. I don't know why, but... So now we need to buy this jar of divine light for 100,000 coins. You can either open it now or wait until you die. I'll be able to open it for you to save you, though I will need to keep hold of it. Jar of divine light when used will disable hardcore mode. That's great. Thanks. Excellent. Let's see... Chuckles, he takes his money, I'll keep the jar for you, and then I can talk to him to get it back at any time. But basically, if I die, I will become a normal Iron Man, as opposed to just straight up losing the account now. Which is nice. I mean, it's nice. It's a little scary, the thought of uh, just, just being dead. Alright, so of course, over time training, we found quite a bit of strange rocks here. And uh, let's add them to the plinth and see how much XP we're going to be getting from these. 
Uh, like 1400 in mining. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty decent experience, so I will continue to uh, add these when I get them. Oh, hey! 39 mining and 36 smithing. Pretty nice. So I did a couple of quests because I wanted to get wanted done. I think the quests I had to get done were um, like the, the goblin diplomacy one, lost tribe, and recruitment drive. Yeah, totally not looking at this list up here because I forgot. But yeah, that all led up to us completing wanted. And the reason I did this was for the 5,000 Slayer XP, which boosts us straight up to 23 Slayer, which uh, will help us skip a bit of that low level Slayer grind, which is kind of a pain in the ass. We can now kill some pretty decent creatures. Um, the most notable of which is Banshees. Now I can get a task of Banshees. Like I said, the, the Crawling Hand task was ass. But apparently the Banshees one is pretty good. And it gives a decent payout. So that could be a way I could go make some money. And hey, I got earmuffs from the quest. So look at that. Already ready to go. And I decided to finish up the Abyss mini quest here while I was doing that quest. So we got up to level 10 runecrafting. Which isn't that big of a deal because runecrafting is not that hard in RS3. Uh, for Iron Men, the most efficient way to runecraft, I'm pretty sure, is in runespan. Which is... Uh, you just take a nap, basically. You click on things every now and then, you take a nap, you get rune crafting levels, it's great. I'm not quite 40 magic yet, but I'm going to grab the tier 40 magic wand and book here from uh, Wizard Jalarist. If you get 4 bark, which you can buy in the uh, Varok Zaps Battlestaff store, um, oh, oh no, you need 3 bark to make this. Okay, you know, that's unfortunate, because he stocks 4 per day, and uh, yes, yeah, so that means I'm 1 short, so I'm going to actually have to go to Canifas and cut the trees. But I can't do that because I need 45 wood cutting, so. <laughs> Sucks to be me. Came here to the cockroaches underneath the um, player safety, what, whatever, in the player safety dungeon so we could get ourselves 40 magic. Uh, this is not really the most efficient. I think it'd honestly probably be better if I had just gone and done some quests for magic or combat XP lamps or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted 40 because I'm getting a little bit tired of the Batwing stuff. And I did go ahead and buy the Batwing armor from Zaf. It was actually pretty cheap. Uh, it seemed so expensive to me at the start because I only had, like, 10k gold or something like that. But it's actually nice. Now I'll go finish the full set. And then uh, maybe we can get back on the questing grind. I know I said I wanted to get, like, a higher combat level. But honestly, the best way to get your combat up is to do quests. I mean, it's just, the game is just quests now. Pretty sure this is the first daily challenge we've ever done. It's for fishing salmon. Let's see the XP drop. Oh, oh my God! You need to keep the salmon. I cooked all of it. I. All right, I'm never. Yep, that's never getting done. So I've heard that on RS3 Iron Man, it's really good to go into dungeoneering, do the whole floor, get as many coins as you can, and then buy like a ton of this hide, and then you can craft it into a body if you have to thread don't forget to buy the thread because if I wouldn't have had any money after I finished that I wouldn't have been able to make these and then resell them so you make these proto leather bodies which are oh wow like what what the hell that's fast oh my god we just got like three crafting levels right there okay so then you trade you sell them and yeah you, uh, you do it over and over again oh I ran out of thread is what actually happened so now there's gonna be a bunch of explosions so yeah this is a pretty decent method, and uh, I'm sure once you get to the higher floors and you gather like a ton more gold uh, by doing the floors, it's much, much better. But if I'm going to be doing dunge anyways, obviously, uh, this is going to be nice. I'm probably going to do this on my way through. Another thing that's pretty efficient to do in dunge that I didn't realize uh, is fishing uh, and cooking is actually really good in dunge. So look at how fast you fish stuff. I mean, I'm sure anyone that's done an Iron Man is like, yeah, duh, this idiot. But, I mean, look at that. That's pretty damn fast XP compared to <laughs> fishing on the surface, so... Like I said, I have to do dunge solo anyway, so you might as well, uh, might as well do this the whole time. Oh, hey, we just hit 30 crafting doing the, uh, proto-leather method. It's actually pretty fun at the end of the floor. It's really satisfying to just buy all this hide with the coins and, oh, what do you know, 31 crafting. <laughs> as you can see, it's pretty satisfying, and the XP is rather nice. So, yeah, oh, I just... I just realized I'm a doofus. I, I didn't realize that I got a group gate stone, because I was doing all my floors on, uh what is it called difficulty for I forget what it's complexity for because I'm a pleb and I was getting my butt kicked but I got some new weapons and decided to uh, up it so the floors will be bigger which means more crafting XP and more dungeon XP now, I've been here at the gullible tours for a good little while I'm about to get ourselves a nice little level and I think this is gonna be our last one because I'm just tired of thieving there's 57 thieving pretty nice nothing too impressive but I've saved up three of these nice little gift offerings so let's open them up and see what we can get uh, we should, oh, okay, we got chimes. I was like, did we literally get nothing? That would be upsetting. Uh, 58 gold charms and a palm sapling. These palm saplings are actually amazing because it'll be great farming XP later on. And we got a ruby ring and green charms. Also a ton of money, as you can see. We almost have a million gold 
Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do with all that money. Alright, so last day of the month, we're going to do all these monthlies and stuff, so we're doing the giant oyster. We can't get anything from it, obviously. We're too low of a level. Um, no, we're not too low of a level. It's it's our first month playing, so we have to feed it and then wait till next month, which is thankfully tomorrow. So I will be able to claim this in uh, just a couple hours, so I'm going to feed it, and we'll see what we get later. Oyster's going through some rough times, boys. Can I get some prayers for him? Look at this. Oh, man. He's not looking so good. We completed our first, uh, what's it called, monthly troll invasion thing because, well, it's going to reset tomorrow, so I'm going to do all the monthlies, and uh, I'd, I'd like to put this in herb lore. Obviously, the XP is not going to be incredible, but let's see. Oh, 7,500. That is that is actually pretty good. Four herb lore levels. We're up to 34. Uh, pretty close to being able to make prayer potions, I think, and I do have a few Raynars in the bank. Let's see. We're really close to being able to make prayer pots, right? 38? Yeah, 38. Okay, just four more herb levels. Uh, yeah, the problem is just getting herbs now. Oh my god, like a lot of monsters drop them, but these, it's slow. And I'm always getting all these herbs that I can't use. There's all the god statues finished, and it got us up to, let's see, 16 construction. I think we were level 5 at the start of this, so that's pretty nice. And I don't think this last one will get us a prayer level, but it'll get us pretty close. So yeah, so we also got 235 prayer from doing this. Uh, some people might say to do Slayer in those, and I kind of see where they're coming from, because early level Slayer is pretty bad, but honestly, I'd rather just start getting my prayer up as soon as possible, because we still don't have protection prayers. And uh, yeah, but I mean, tomorrow we'll be ready to do another monthly, but I think I'll wait till the end of the month to do my monthlies like I usually did on my main when I was trying to max, because by the end of the month I'll have higher than 40 fishing, which will give me a ton of fishing from Giant, or more fishing XP from Giant Oyster. Uh, I'll have higher prayer, probably higher construction, which will give me more XP from these, and so on and so forth. So yeah, wait till the end of the month to do your monthlies. Unless you're bad at remembering, then you should probably just get them out of the way as soon as you remember. Alright, so I realize, man, my summoning is so low level four and uh the one guy rufus in canifis sells raw chicken and raw beef which i think i need the it was either beef or something else but i need that for a crimson charm thing and the raw chicken can be used for dread fowls which i can only make one of because i only have one pouch okay you know we'll get there we, we got a, we got a lot of uh you know intelligence to gain but there we go let's make 25 of these bad boys and jump up to what summoning level <clears throat> only one summoning level from that oh Oh, you know, I thought we were going to get a lot more, uh, a lot more levels from that. Oops. Hey, this is the first time I've gotten 100 points in a, uh, Gathixian cache so far. It's because no one else was here. So, let's see how much XP we get. 9,500, which is three more div levels. Uh, just seven more, and the caches will finally be, finally be bearable, because right now I can only get one point per automaton, because I can only kill the basic ones, and one point per memory, which makes them absolutely horrid to do. So I think I'm going to end the video off here, guys. I know I said I would do a lot of combat in this part, but of course I got distracted like always. And it's taken quite a lot longer to level through these lower levels than I thought it would. So, yeah, everybody says the RS3 is easy skate, but it's not that easy. And, uh, yeah, so in the next part we're definitely going to get to at least 50 magic. So we can upgrade our gear and maybe do something with that. I think we might be able to start Slayer, but the Slayer Masters at low levels are ass, so maybe not. We'll see. Anyways, here are the stats for the video, if I can find them. They exist somewhere. Uh, we gained 450,000 XP and played for like 15 hours since the last part. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.